Hi, let's talk about installing Oracle 18C, the latest version from Oracle. We'll be interested in Oracle 18C Express Edition, which is meant for beginners and hobbyists. The first thing we need to do is download 18C Express Edition. So click here. First, you have to go to oracle.com and in the home page you see downloads right here this is where you need to click and it is going to provide your list of options and there you have to select what you want to download go to database because we want to download oracle database 18c and then you have to select database 18c express edition the rest of the editions are priced they are not free so we work with 18c express edition click on this and it's going to ask you which version you want to download is it for linux or windows and fortunately there is no oracle for mac so if you are a mac user i'm sorry you're disappointed so this is uh, how we get here click on that it will start the download accept the license agreement click on that and it might ask you to log in because uh, you are expected to log in with oracle account so there you are so it's asking me to log in but my credentials are already there i say just get in and now it will start downloading it well it's going to take a while to download that put it anywhere you like but make sure you know where it is going and of course uh, it's a little big in my case actually i just downloaded this so i'm not going to download it again so in my case it is here in my oracle folder i already downloaded it and as you can see it's uh, around 2 gb okay that's the size of it and uh, you have to wait for quite some time before the whole thing is downloaded and once it is downloaded then we'll resume the installation process for now i'm not proceeding with the download because i already have it so you carry on with your download and once you're done then you can come back here well here we are the download is done and this is what you got from oracle.com just extract it because this is a, a zip file and i'm using winrar you can use whatever you like and it is to be extracted i already extracted that into a folder like this and mine is windows version and that to 64 bit so get into that folder and start the setup program double click on setup and it's going to start yes proceed and it is going to start the installation process we don't have too many steps in this but it does take some time so let us take the required steps first and then we can leave it for installation so go to next step and then accept the license agreement as usual next it's asking where do you want to install this and i prefer to change the folder I prefer to put it in uh, a folder like Oracle 18. Well, you can choose whatever you like. So I just want to put it in a folder called Oracle 18. And that's where it is going to install this and uh, make sure you have enough space. Go to the next step. And this is very important. This is the password that you need to use to log into Oracle so give a simple password and unless you have a reason do not complicate it so keep it simple so i gave the password and trying to proceed it's showing me where it is going to install oracle and go ahead and say install and it's going to take a while to install and we'll come back once the installation is completely done the installation is completed and you must be seeing a screen like this pay close attention to this 
this is the pluggable database that we are actually interested in we also have something called container database which is uh, also important but our interest is more on this it's because this contains a user called hr which is about human resource that's what we are going to use uh, all through so this is uh, the name of the database okay xe that is express edition pluggable database and we can also connect it to container database without this name and actually the name of uh, that database is simply xe well we need to take a couple of steps now to connect it to oracle database and this is different from what it used it to be in uh, 11g express edition uh, a bit of advice here if you are not really keen about the latest version i strongly recommend you go with the 11g express edition which is uh, very good for beginners and you don't have different databases single database so the whole process of connection etc would be much easier and also it doesn't take as much time as 18c takes so if you are all about learning databases and interested in laying a foundation 11g is uh, an awesome database system i mean 11g express edition please check out my youtube channel to understand how to get started with uh, 11g because it's possible to install and then make things happen much more quickly and relatively easily anyway we have done this so let's just click on finish to finish things off and now how do you connect to database first go to command prompt i hope you know how to get there and once you go to command prompt then find out what is uh, the ip address of your system and this is exactly what i want you to remember the ip address you get from your ip config command so here is the command ip config and it gives you information about your system's ip address we need this so 192.168.1.34 is my system but please find out what it is in your system so once you get that then we are all set to connect to oracle we are not connecting to container database we are interested in pluggable database so we can straight away start with uh, sql plus that's the program provided by oracle and then we need to use something like uh, uh, the username system is the username whatever password you have given in my case i have given a very simple password that is oracle and then you need to give ip address of your system so we have just seen the ip address so 192.168.1.34 colon 1521 and then you need to go with uh, something like a slash and then you need to give the database name xe pdb1 this is uh, the full uh, string so system the name of the user system means the dba the administrator oracle is the password i have given and this is the ip address of my system this is the standard number 1521 and then this is the name of pluggable database and with this command we can connect it to oracle just press enter key after that you are connected and here we are we are connected to oracle 18c express edition you can clearly see that okay and now we connected to system you can even ask oracle who you are by saying show user it says you are system now we have an account called hr the human resource account which contains uh, tables it has precisely seven tables with a reasonable amount of data very good set of tables for beginners to learn what is what 
the tables were designed by Oracle education team. So here I'm going to unlock that account that HR account is by default locked. We can't access it. So we have to give two commands to unlock it. Just give the commands as they are. You may not know much about what they do, but they just unlock the account. Alter user HR account unlock. This is the command and don't forget semicolon at the end and press enter key. You unlock the account and also change the password because the existing password is expired. So you have to give a new password, but I give the same password that is HR. The username and password are same. That's okay. You can give a different password if you like. So alter user HR identified by HR. That's the password. That's it. You unlock the account with this command and then you change the password with this command and now you're all set to exit this account, the system account and get back to that account. So just go back and give the same command. Just change HR. HR system should be replaced with HR and password is replaced with HR. The rest remains the same. And now you are connected to HR. And all that you need to do is just again find out who you are. You are now HR and you can also find out the tables that are present. You can say select name from something like uh, okay T name from uh, tab and that is going to tell you what are the tables that are present. Well, you get to see more about select later, but for now this command is saying display the table name for all the tables and these are the tables that you have. So you will get to know them later. For now, this is the way you log into system account. So this is very important. You got to give this. And if you are not giving all the details, then you will be connecting to the other database called container database. And the problem with container database is you don't have this HR account. This is only in this pluggable database. So please remember that. And this is the way you connect to it. And you can start using the tables that are there. For example, we have a table called jobs and we can get all the columns or we can just take job titles from that. I say job title and that's it. This is how you can give commands. Okay. So once again, I repeat the process. So please make sure you understood that. This is how you connect it to system account first. After you're connected to system account with the password you have given at the time of installation. Remember when we were installing, we were asked to enter password and this is that password. And this is the IP address of your system and you have to be aware of it. So find out this by using IP config command. And these are all standard names. So don't change them. And 1521 is a standard port number and this is the database uh, name. So just give them as they are and you will be connected to system. But then you need to give two commands in order to unlock the account. The first of the commands is HR unlock. So alter user HR account unlock. Then you need to give one more command to change the password. That's all you need to do after login to system. Get out of it. And now you connect using HR like this. This is precisely what you need to do. But if you try to do it in the beginning, you get the message. The account is locked. So log into system, unlock it. Now you're ready to go. Okay. So that's how you get started. 